Preparing for Labor Labor is an exhaustive process which drains you physically and mentally at times. You can prepare yourself physically and mentally for labor so that it doesn't turn out to be a terrific experience for you. Physical preparation involves preparing your body for labor. Pelvic floor muscles play the most important role in labor. You can do antenatal exercises to train these pelvic floor muscles. Out of all the antenatal exercises, yoga is considered the best because postures done in yoga help to keep pelvis loose and open, which helps in easier positioning and descent of the baby. Breathing practices learned during yoga will help in enduring pain in a better way when you are in labor. Walk around, try to remain active at all times. Sitting upright every day with a slight forward lean will help in good fetal positioning and ease your labor if your baby is in right position. Kegels or pelvic floor exercises will prepare your pelvic muscles for labor. Strengthening these muscles will help in easy delivery and will also prevent you from future bladder problems in your postnatal period. Perineal massage will relax these perineal muscles and also increase the blood supply to these muscles which will help in easier delivery. Hypnosis teaches you deep relaxation techniques. It makes you feel less uncomfortable during labor pains and a trance state is experienced by you during labor. Other alternative is to join childbirth classes. These classes can be taken any time after 20 weeks. They teach you all about the physiology of labor, different positions which you can opt for, various breathing techniques to cope with the pain. They will also tell you about other pain relief options which you will have during your labor. These classes give you an overview of how the labor will happen. Joining these classes will prepare you physically and mentally for labor. Prepare yourself mentally for labor by always staying positive. Be optimistic. Think about good things about labor. The positive energy will help you stay focused towards your goal. Try meditation. Deep breathing, meditation by yoga can help you relax and train your mind to endure pain during labor. You can always talk about your fears and anxiety with your loved ones. Your midwife or doctor can also help you by providing solutions to your worries surrounding labor and childbirth. Packing hospital bag is the next thing you need to do. You can pack two separate bags, one for you and other for your baby. You need to carry all your hospital or maternity notes, birth plan if you had any, loose outfit to wear like loose t-shirt. You can take books, magazine, music with you for your early labor. Phone charger, drinks, medications you are taking, wash bag containing toiletries. After the birth, you will need things like sanitary pads, towels, loose outfits, slippers, and if you are planning to breastfeed, don't forget to take nursing bras, breast pads, front open nighties or pajama tops. I would say pack a separate bag for baby which includes all the body suits, vest, sleep suits, mittens, socks, nappies, cotton balls and blanket. Birth plan is what you wish should happen to you in labor. It is not necessary to have one, but if you want to, you can make one. The birth plan will usually include where you want to give birth, what pain relief options you want in labor, positions you want to try in labor, whether you wish to have forceps or kiwi or not when the need arises, whether you wish to have skin-to-skin -skin contact with your baby after delivery or you are planning to breastfeed or bottle feed your baby.